Since we will update our firmware once a while, probably a month, so it's better for you to check your brain OS firmware update once a while as well. So swipe up, enter the main menu, and swipe to the right and find updates. Click inside. You will see on the left button, it'll say check, but sometimes it'll just pop up and tell you you need to download the newest version. And click and it'll show you the newest version and the description. Click confirm to start the firmware update process. Okay, finished. Okay, not done yet. Now let's connect the modules to your brain. Oops, look, now it says module firmware update needed. Please update. Hmm, in this case, we need to connect all modules we have. Look, if I click update now, it will show up. Please assemble all your modules together for a complete update. But uh, if you have a very big bundle, say if you have a full or even maker kit, you might just can't connect all modules you have. So my recommendation will be not more than 15 modules together. And it doesn't matter what you are building, simply connect them all together. And after you finished, click assemble to continue the process. And confirm. Okay, done. Okay, last business today. Let's get your robot connected with your phone device. Look, as you can see, I have an Android and a Apple. First, let's swipe up to enter the main menu and click this Wi-Fi look like button. And as you can see, it has a clickbot. It has a name, clickbot CF08. That's the ID of this brain. Let's um, leave it here and let's use this connect clickbot function on the phone app. And let's find the corresponding name, CF08. Click connect. You might don't see this many a long list here because you only have one brain. And confirm the connection. We are connected. And it's the same on the Android device, so I'm not going to show you again. But there is another way we offer, especially when you are outdoors. We are recommend to use the hotspot connection. And let's disconnect from here. So how to use this function is let's still let's do this Wi-Fi look like button. But this time we choose other connection method here. And confirm. Look, we have generated a QR code on our robot brain, and let's leave it there. So first, I'm going to show you is on a Apple device. As again, let's go to connect clickbot. But this time, we're not going to use the same function. We use this. No router. I want to connect directly to clickbot on the left bottom. Click, and it'll take you to a scanning interface. We use this to scan the QR code generated on our phone app. And it'll ask you, do you want to join? Yes, let's join it. And wait for about 10 seconds. It'll automatically get it connected. OK, connected. But on some Android device, it might be different. Let me show you. Let's disconnect it. And we leave the Apple iPad away. And again, let's generate a QR code on our robot brain and leave it there. It will be the same. Use connect clickbot function and choose no router I want to connect directly and start scanning. This part will be the same. Scan the QR code. And now it will be different. Look, the pop up now it becomes Wi Fi settings and it allows you to copy password. Let's choose copy password. And it'll take you out of the phone app and it'll take you to the Wi Fi settings. And we paste the Wi Fi password we just copied from. Choose paste and click connect. 
and it says connected but no internet access which is normal and now let's go back to the phone app as you can see now it's connected to the robot thank you very much and now let's go to the next session to see how to build your first robots